wings, tuck shop lady arms, and even for dubbers. Come I on. can say it. You can't. I can't say it again. For, for, du for dubbers. For no, not that you can't say it, but you're just not allowed to say it. Oh. Don't be calling my arms tuck shop lady arms. Or for dubbers. <laughs> I've been called many names, and so many Aussie women struggle to keep their arms trim and toned. This segment may or may not involve pole dancing. You've been warned. But today, tonight's a Dean Cassidy challenge for women to do just that. Two of them opted for cosmetic procedures to tackle the problem. The other two did it the old-fashioned way. So, who fared best in the battle of the bingo wings? See for yourself. In the quest for a fit body, for most women, toning up the arms is high on the list. I had um, quite a lot of loose skin hanging down. They, they resembled wings. I really don't like my arms because I feel they're overweight. There's some fat to be lost, a bit flappy, a um, bit like tuck shot lady arms. Adine, I want arms like yours. This is the before <laughs> and this is the after. <laughs> There's a couple of reasons um, for flabby arms or, or bingo wings. Editor of Prevention magazine, Jackie Mooney. As you get older, you store fat in some places that can be really annoying or hard to get rid of. The tummy is one and the arms are definitely another. So tricky to get rid of, some, like 37-year-old Nicole, have paid $5,000 to go under the knife. I feel great. I feel really good. I feel happy and confident and, and healthy within myself. Cosmetic surgeon Dr Bernhard Bedholm from the Cosmos Clinic says the arm lift procedure is becoming more common. There's certainly two main groups that we see today and that's the weight loss patients and then the second patient is the one that with ageing gravity pulls the tissues down. And although it has a high patient satisfaction rating, there is a drawback. I knew that there would be um, quite dramatic scars and I knew that it would be in, uh, permanent um, and it was something that I weighed up and I just decided for myself that I'd rather have those scars than live not being able to wear the clothes I wanted to. I just don't like this sagginess here. Yeah. I'd like to firm that, tone it up a bit. If you're not keen to go under the knife, there's a non-surgical solution for the same problem. Sue is in her 60s and she's opting for an hour-long ultrasound heat treatment on her arms to banish the excess fat, setting her back $1,500. Dr Bedholm calls it liposonics. How are you going there? Fine. I can feel sort of something. Yeah? Not painful or anything? No. no. Like a bit of Excellent. Or Excellent. There was no visible difference after the first treatment, but Dr Bedholm says patients can expect to see changes after two or three sessions. But dietitian and exercise physiologist Chantelle Wardini says women should just get back to basics. If you're wanting to target the upper arm area, it's important to consume foods that are lower in calories. She's devised a diet and fitness program for Trish enlisting the help of pole dance instructor Sarah Thompson. Pole dancing is basically a form of resistance training, so you're carrying your body weight on your arms, and so it's a fantastic upper body workout. What we're going to do is see if we can actually climb up the pole arm over arm. <laughs> Forty-two days later, there's a noticeable difference. She's been training four to five times a week for six weeks, doing 20 to 30 minute workouts. Trish had about 19 millimetres of fat sitting over the back of her arms, so we'll have a look and we'll see what it's like. Just get you to relax for me, Trish. So Trish has about 10 millimetres of um, body fat sitting there now, so that's wow. about half of what she started with. That's amazing. Hmm. Altogether, she's probably lost about um, one and a half centimetres on the front and the back of her arm. Are you surprised by Trish's results? She has been working quite hard, so I'm very impressed with the result. And so is Trish. I get comments. The boys say they look, I've got guns and the girls are jealous. <laughs> If pole dancing isn't your thing, some of the biggest names in Hollywood swear by Pilates. Rebecca has signed up for the challenge with Pilates instructor Sari Schillingford. Do you think that you can make a difference? Definitely. With these exercises, hopefully. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you. Okay. Make sure your hands are a little wider than your shoulders. Knees come down to the mat. One push up. After training three to four times a week, 
For six weeks, Rebecca shaved three and a half centimetres off her arms. So when it comes to banishing the underarm flab, it's all up to you and how much you're willing to sacrifice. Chuck so, your flabobbiters up here, love. <laughs> For more details about the cosmetic procedures and the fitness trainers featured in that story, head to the Daily Show info section on our website. I wouldn't this, know what to do. Oh, please. This isn't a prop. This is left over from the Christmas party. I wouldn't have a clue what to do with it. Well, watch me. <laughs> uh, here's Glenn.